Hey guys, HSC here and welcome back to part 3 of Sonic Mania. And now we move on to the first original zone of Sonic Mania, Studioopolis. Hell yes. I mean, the, uh, the, the returning zones with the new twerks and twists are all great, but it's nice to see some original stuff too and I can get down with that. No tails, fly me you fool. There we go. Yeah, I love that they added. Uh, they did this in the um, when 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 they brought out the remakes of Sonic One and Two and put Tails in. They made it so it was possible to, even if you're playing one player and you've got Tails following you, if you were to um, jump and press up, Tails will start to fly and you can grab onto him. And then once you've once you've grabbed onto him and Sonic, you can fly around, which I think is awesome. It's a great little addition. But now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna do some blue sphere. Why? Because I gotta. Because when you collect the emblems at the end, you unlock more stuff, and I want the stuff. We need the stuff. Okay. Okay, I know this one. This one was from Sonic 3 or Sonic and Knuckles. Either way, I know this one. I'm gonna perfect this. You just watch me. I'm gonna do it! Hells yes. More rings. And yes, I know you... I, mean, I know in Sonic and Knuckles, you, in Sonic 3 you didn't need the rings, but... In this, if you want the perfect to get the gold emblem, you need it. And hell to it. While I'm here, I might as well do it. It's getting so fast! Ah, I got this though. Ow, ow, my face. My beautiful face! Ha, excellent. You're gonna have to be careful in Sonic Mania, though, to, to perfect these, you gotta make sure you leave something like two blue spheres like that left, and I haven't, so I won't get a perfect on this one. 16 rings remaining. So I get a silver emblem. Woo! All right. Anyway, back to Studioopolis. I love the speed of this game. Ah, oh, regular shield. Damn. Fuck you, Obanod. And oh, speed. I love it. On. Now these Orbanaut, I've noticed something with them, and it makes me feel so sorry for the poor fuckers. The three little balls I've got going around them, the more of those you take away, the sadder they start to look, and it makes you feel, feel so sorry for the poor fucker. But still, he's one of Eggman's uh, bad nicks, and he has to die. Something I noticed ages ago when you know, like, this was still being released as one of the promotional levels for the game. When it was when it was still so far from being released. Ooh, electric shield. Nice. But I love that double jump. So you can do that. And into the Hornet van. Woo! Yeah, so despite, you uh, know, Studio Office being the first level of the game, obviously, well, we've all, we've seen it, all, we've seen this level on YouTube many a times. Uh, so, you know, this first bit's not too much, but, you know, when we get to the, um, the mini-boss of this level, that, that'll be new, so, well, ow. So, that'll be cool. Aha, Eggman's strange extending chair! Nice. Now I'm gonna cheat. Like I said, having this ability is awesome. You know, gone are the days of Sonic 3 on the uh, Sonic 3 on the Mega Drive, where you had to have a second controller plugged in for Tails to do this. Gone. Ah, oh, popcorn. Lame. I want a good food. Dancing Eggman. Weird dancing Eggman thing with a little stick thing. He's doing his little G dance. That's just awesome. Uh, 
That's it, roll. There we go. I'm in the air, I'm in the air. Another Hornet van. Where will it take me? Not on the TV. Oh shit. It's one of the hard boiled heavies. Bring it on. Okay. Jumping into this fucker does nothing. And he's shooting missiles at me. What an asshole. Okay, so I died. Let me try that again. Alright. Alright, fucker. No more pissing around. Damn it. Shooting missiles. I need to figure out how you injure this thing. Jumping in is no worse and the muscles hurt yet. Yeah? Like that. I can do this! Everybody calm your tits. I can do this. Fucking hard boiled heavies. Okay, uh, so avoid that red missile. What about this tiny missile? Okay, okay. If you hit the smooth, the blue small missile, that seems to hit the hard-boiled heavy. Okay, and that took out one of the egg robots flying around him. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Damn it, damn it, damn it! There we go. Ah, that's two hits. More rings are awesome. I like it. Alrighty. So. Red missile, we don't want you. Jump. I want that one. Hit it. There we go. Okay, that's three hits. That should mean he has no egg robos left. He does not! Just me and the hard ball heavy. One on one. Mono or mano or, man or hedgehog versus robot. However you like it. Ow. Damn the momentum of the. You know, the. Ah, damn it! The, the, the dips in the hills in the road make it's got to throw your jumps off of it when you're trying to jump the red missiles alright but now I've got this down let's try this again this is a very unique box I like this you know one of the Eggman in a, in a uh, egg robo not egg robo egg robo no it's eggmobile that's the one none of that stuff where you've got to hit him eight times you've actually got to ow do something a little bit different Yeah, got it. Ow, damn it. Okay, note to self, don't bounce from the blue missile to the red missile. Got it? Go. As I said, I do like the music for Studio Opera, uh, Studio Opera Zone Act 1. It is quite catchy. But I've been in this Act 1 far too long. It's time to move on. I'm start making use of that drop dash. Which is helpful because you've got to sort of roll or uh, jump on the little blue missile, and it just seems easy to roll into it. So if you sort of like jump the red missile and then jump and drop dash into it, there you go. Ah, damn it! Now, it would be would be great if you just didn't fly out of the way and let the egg robots take the hit. He'd die in like one hit. The guy is such a joke. There we go. Yeah. 
Hit the blue, hit the blue missile, and avoid the red missile with skills. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so I'm just going to unleash some missiles. It's going to be red missile followed by blue missile followed by red missile. So if I jump that one, hit that one, and he's down. All right, he's gone. Woo! Talking off lives, but he's down. Sorry, go through Act One. Nice. All right. Act Two, and that is a uh, Eggman TV. Or should I say, it was called Egg TV. Awesome. Now he has his own TV channel. Now he controls what happens to the TV. TV will never be the same again! Oh, damn it. Well, I'm not going up there anymore. Oh, what the hell? Alright. Oh, hell? Oh, it moves. Ah, oh, cool. Okay, let's try going over to the left here. There's nothing on the right. Oh, there we go. Whee! That was fun. Huh. Oh, bubble, bubble shield. Nice. Oh, but, damn it. There we go. Come on, Sonic, run, damn it, run! One slight sticking point I'm going to say about Sonic Mania is... No, oh, damn it, cut it off. But the music was playing there when I had the um, Invincibility Stars. Doesn't strike me as the best... In, you know, Invisibility Star music that Sonic's had. It's the one little tiny weak point of the whole soundtrack. I mean, I'll, the rest of the soundtrack is awesome. I've heard so far, I think it's brilliant. I mean, that music even fits the title screen well. It's just, they gave it a sort of different sound for the Invincibility Star music, and it, I, I just don't think it quite fits. For its purpose, but hey yo. I want more emblems, so rant over about that little bit of music there. Let's get myself another emblem. Let's see if I can perfect this one. I believe I can do it. Come on, where's the blue spheres? Oh, there's some more. Alright, nine more. Oh, yep, perfect. I just need the last nine blue spheres. Where are they? There they are. Let's line it up. Nice. And that, my friends, is how you perfect blue sphere. Take note, damn it! Okay, back to Studio Act 2. Ah, there's a spring there as well. Sweet. Oh, there we go, that's it. I got it. Oh, well, down we go again. Going down. Flying down you. Okay, ow. Dip, 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 slow. Okay, yeah, clearly wants me to go back up. Ow. Fucker. I don't 
have to do with my blue sphere right now. I don't want the every every level to be just bogged down with complete and utter blue sphere all the time. Okay, what have we got in here? Ah. Three times. Seven. Three. Three times. Ah, oh, got a got extra life. Nice. That's how many the hard world heavy took off me. I probably need it. I'll be honest. Oh, here we go. Eggman time. Egg TV. Okay, what's the weather? The weather chicken. It's windy, it's windy out. Ow. Okay, so you have to look what's on the background, so it's gonna be wind again. Ah there you go, if you hang on to that you won't hit the spikes at the top or Eggman himself, and then you can hit him. Oh, rain this time. Oh, thunder clouds, damn! Oh, that was quick. Didn't even get to see what the sun did. Never mind. Oh man, Tech TV's gone. That sucks. Well guys, that ends it for part three. So I'm gonna end it here. So thank you all so very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. <gasps> but on the TV, flying battery returns! Holy crap! <laughs>